the first talk of me will be the first introduction to SDR and how you, um, I think, I know the working process with um, SDR. And I will give you um, also a short introduction of what you need and I, I will show you. This is a very live, very non-PowerPoint um, talk because I want to show you how it is working. What do you need for SDR? Before the release, you need, of course, um, uh, SDR transmitter and transceiver. And um, I have, um, I think, two years ago, I bought me this uh, Soyuz One from SSB Electronics, and I bought the second one that I can give it to the audio to see how it is a SDR transceiver. And believe me, it's borrowed. I need it back. Please give it back to me. <laughs> Please have attention that no one puts it out of the room. Um, first, you need, of course, the hardware, but of course you need also a computer. You need a... Um, I'm using a PC that's not the... Um, um, State of the art, it's an old Lenovo, and, but it's a dual core uh, transmitter and um, a dual, dual core PC. And believe me, how effective you need a mouse. Yeah, without a mouse, um, no starting because you have to install the software. Uh, you need, of course, the software which is managing the uh, SDR transceiver and you need sometimes a few of um, secondary software. In this case, you, do, you need a .NET, um, um, yeah, a .NET um, from Microsoft. And um, when you um, finish all, yeah, you see this screen on your PC. This screen. Okay. Um, then, and now I want to I give you a short introduction how you are working and what are the possibilities and what are the, the features yeah, from um, SDR um, using um, this one. I think it's very really equal to other uh, products, and, but I am a owner of uh, Soyuz 1 and because of this I never going to this one. Okay, let us, do, let us um, begin. First of all, you have also a switch on button. This is the switch on button, and after switching on, um, you see um, in this bunker no signal. Yeah? You have here in the first um, screen, you see here the frequency and here the signal. Yeah? And on the second window, you see um, the so-called waterfall, waterfall um, screen. That means um, the signals coming from, from here to there. And if you see the signal, yeah, it's, um, you have uh, here the visual um, idea of the signal. Okay, that's, um, I have to... Um, I have few other uh, points uh, here in the waterfall, but uh, that's coming later on. Then, of course, you have S meter, digital, and not, so that's a feature. And, uh, but you see, I'm working here with the mouse. Yeah? And if you want to change the frequency, you are using the um, mouse wheel. Yeah? That is going to 20 meter. Maybe there's no signal, no, there's also no signal for the pity. Um, No, it's not the other um, um, Then you find a lot of knobs and switches on all physical, um, old fashioned transceivers. You know you have a uh, VFO A, VFO B, you have split frequency, you have to change between A and B and so on, and you need also to have um, a clarifier for transmitting and receiving. That's very, very uh, similar here in, the, in this part. You have a VFO A, VFO B, um, you have 
and it probably has a split for having two different uh, for split frequency. You can have a uh, lit yeah, for um, changing the, the lit frequency and also for the transmitter frequency. So good for um, okay. That's very old-fashioned, and gives you the idea that the interface between the software and the old-fashioned hardware transmitter is not so difficult, different. Because every um, button you found on the old-fashioned hardware transmitter is now transformed to a um, button here in the software. There's no more um, uh, difficult. Then you have to see the different um, um, uh, test modes, and um, you have also um, the idea of filter and and uh, sliding filters. Um, this white gray part is the receiving channel. Then you see how the receiving channel is um, really in the frequency. Uh, I'm going to go to skip this one. Then you have uh, three bef um, uh, before uh, defined filters, and also you have here a uh, band selector, uh, band selector for the classical uh, handbrake bands, and of course you have also um, output um, output slider. This um, one is only a QRP um, transmitter. Um, makes maximum output 50 watts, but it's very small, and um, because of this, it's all possible to have 50 watts of magnet slide. And then, of course, what is uh, missing? You need the push to talk. Push to talk, this one. Okay, this is the push to talk one. Right? You see here, um, there's a, my, my microphone here in the, in the uh, PC, and I have no in the moment, not, no, no uh, extra microphone, and you see here what you are transmitting. Yeah? Okay, of course, you have also a tune button which uh, gives um, uh, output of, um, of which you um, push the, the transmitter to. Um, to uh, transmit, uh, to transmit. Okay, that's very classical, and believe me, if you start with um, uh, SDR transmitting, you will feel very uh, very uh, comfortable, very familiar with these buttons and and so on. But then you can ask, what is the more value for SDR if I have only um, this um, uh, this um, uh, buttons as an old fashioned um, transmitter. And now the more, um, the more um, the additional uh, things of SDR is, uh, is coming. First of all, you have, um, okay, noise blank, noise reduction, autom automatic noise, um, a notch a filter. Um, this is, uh, you can switch on noise blank or noise reduction, but um, you can have also adjust the noise reduction uh, here on uh, with, with, um, the, with the mouse, and um, this gives an idea of that all parameters, all settings um, are now variable, variable in kind of, you can adjust it um, by yourself and give, and, and for the, adjust, uh, the adjustment is always done with um, kind of, um, of uh, using the mouse and uh, sliding um, the, the, this uh, the parameters. Okay. Um, all of them is done um, on a digital uh, um, way, and um, it's not very easy talking about noise reduction in digital, but that's not the aim of this part. It's only want to show you how, what, is, what you can do. Okay, um, then you have a lot of um, additional uh, windows, and it looks like a little, a little bit um, to explore 
what is the, um, uh, what is, um, the software able, what is the features are here in the, in the, in the software and let us have a look to, to uh, the signal, um, uh, signal generation and maybe um, if you have a old fashioned computer, uh, transmitter you have, you can, uh, can have, can you can switch on a compressor and you have a one knob for making a little bit about compression level and so on. Now, um, in SDRs, it's very common that you have a lot of more features. Um, first of all, I can um, um, uh, make a recording of a um, short sentence that if I... This is Delta Lima 2, CR of high okay. okay, and then you can uh, replay. And 
you have an output also from one um, milliwatt, for 40 milliwatts on this um, uh, liquid uh, frequencies, and um, you have to have an amplifier uh, for having a little signal. Oh, amplifier. What is going on with amplifier? Okay. Um, okay. Um, that's an external uh, thing you can have as a, some, some kind of like a band decoder. Um, I will talk to uh, this uh, speaks later uh, about pre distortion. You can adjust here pre distortion for making a good signal, a uh, good transmitting signal. I will talk um, a little bit later about pre distortion. And um, then um, you have um, and the DJs are uh, using now digital um, uh, interfaces to the uh, CD player. And this uh, is also a new I my idea, and it's uh, well implemented here, uh, that you have a lot of enough knobs to um, control your own uh, transmitter. And um, look at this, that, uh, that's the VFO, uh, then you can have filter, changing the filter, you can, um, this is all free programmable, that means you decide with this um, management um, part which action uh, uh, will be done when you are pressing this knob. Um, let us try some um, AF um, uh, on off and I want to have this button uh, for switching uh, on the air the NNR, uh, automatic um, um, uh, notch filter after programming this I can switch this um, I can switch I can switch Okay, I can switch um, with this console, uh, with this DJ console, every knob, every um, um, thing on my um, on my um, software defined radio, and this gives me a good feeling um, for having something like computer, not uh, not computer, like more as a as a, as a full um, interface to um, my software transmitter. Mm -hmm. And after this, you have you need a headset, switching, uh, putting the headset to the computer, and um, then you are able to be on air. Few words about uh, CW, of course, there's a CW uh, possibility, high speed and uh, full big BK in, it's always done. Um, yeah, and the software is also a CW decoder. Um, there are also possibilities for um, the RTTY or PSK modes. Uh, RTTY is not implemented in the, this version, but the next version. And we'll have also complete RTTY transmitter and receiving and decoding um, engine in the software, also the same for PSK. That means um, there's also one of the uh, improvements your transmitter is not finished. It's going on and it's going on and it's going on with the improvement because you have only updated the software. Okay. Uh, these are a few introductions to this for the early beginners. Um, having a look to um, uh, to software uh, working with software defined radio, and now I have one or two or three minutes of questions.